You want to try the strokes first? Yeah. Okay. Just have practice with the. Uh, let me clean this uh, brush. Okay. I have a clean brush in China. This, this clean water. Okay. Let me dry the brush so it's not wet. Clean it. Brush. Maybe on top when we store. Well, you could be on bottom. Oh. Yes. Uh -huh. oh. well, I think this uh, need to be the different angle. This this head oh. and uh, uh, it goes uh, like that. Oh. And then the back is like hatchback. Uh, is tall. Mm. And then it's more like mm -hmm. the free. Style. I always have trouble with the head. Yeah. Keep the, the head relatively sh uh, over, sh not too long. That that hard. Th that's the shortest section. Just the, the head, then the neck bent, start to, to fold, bent downward. See, see what I always do then? Pull, pull the brush to the to uh, this is just pull the brush to the right, then bend it like that down, and then curve up and fold it, fold it. Yeah. Okay. Done. So the brush is kept in the same position, not much change. Folding is like this. So when brush comes here, then just so this part is like a um, like this stroke. You know, just go like that. Okay, mm -hmm. same. Like because uh, this is the neck, mm -hmm. uh, and then the back, the top of the back. So the the stroke, the tip stays on in inside. Use the the bot the heel of the brush to to okay. do the back. Yes. Okay. That's called folding. That's what I call folding. Okay. Yeah. You can use another yeah. sheet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The down part is uh, the, it's the ma ma mainly the length of the neck. That could be a big curve uh, turn you know, instead of fold. It could be uh, in some uh, position like a standing. It, it could be like 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 you did. That that mm -hmm. would be good. In flying, the neck is extended, so you you do more like this, uh, more like a big round shape, and then. Lost something up there, like a curve instead mm -hmm. of a fold. And then goes up and then folding it down. This brush is not uh, big enough for this size. You can uh, you can make a small part. You know, okay. In the in the end, I'll give you the big brush, actual brush, to do, but okay. the same kind of uh, stroke. Yeah. Okay. Going. Just do a smaller Pull up. bird. Yeah. Goes forward, yeah. And down. Yes. Uh -huh. And then you do a second stroke. Yeah, to just make, make up the, the, the right. Okay. I think the uh, the shape could be a little bit more like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this part. Yeah. It's it's more more like a f uh, under the. Mm. the okay. Under the head, like that. Okay. Not behind too much. But you can make it straight, then we will out of room on, on the paper. Yeah.
that one. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. There might be some variations. Mm -hmm. Some uh, may not have the four, uh, just you know, like a big neck, and then just do the back behind. I think so. This part could be more like this. Mm. Uh, so just vary the different angles. When you do two, just vary a little bit. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It could be curvy. Goes up. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Use the side strokes. So when the brush is loaded with mm -hmm. different uh, oh, ink, okay. it goes like, um, you keep the difference. Oh, okay. Part of the difference. So when you do it, make it shorter. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. That's that's good. I try the wings. It's uh, like a. Uh, Much easier than the than the fish you did. Yeah. <laughs> so just kind of uh, upward. Yeah, and bent backward, like a backward to seven. Oh, I yeah. see. Okay. Backward two backward sevens. Yeah. Yeah, one and two. Look at the small sample we had. Oh, I see. Okay. So it'd be like... <laughs> yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. The shoulder. Yeah. I think just, yeah, basically two seven and backward. Okay, I'll try to do them mm -hmm. all here. The whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's good body. Very good. Okay, seven. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so the first seven is like uh, like this. Seven. Uh, you can go. Or this one. This is a seven, and then the lower seven is like uh, this. <laughs> this seven. Mm -hmm. Make a Try to make the sweeping stroke so you is more indicate the motion. Like that, you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I like that. Yeah. It's my favorite. Yeah. The idea comes first. Idea mm -hmm. comes first. If you don't have idea, you you just think of a <laughs> imagined uh, kind of a mm -hmm. gesture. It's a gesture painting. It's the gesture of using the brush corresponding to the gesture of the bird. Mm -hmm.
So generally speaking, the the neck and the neck is the most solid part. Mm -hmm. Next is the back. The wings are more kind of uh, um, void, or more suggestive. Mm -hmm. So you, yeah, you can do it more loosely and freely. Okay. Okay. If something wrong, you can blur it. <laughs> Yeah, the neck is definitely the most challenging yeah. for me. Just think about something like a, a letter that you can you can follow it with a gesture. A U shaped turn at the front, yeah. That's good. And then the folding. Yeah, that's a very good. I like the the U shaped turn at the front. Mm. Mm -hmm. Instead of uh, the pointed one, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. and so the the back could be a, a little round. Yeah, like the behind the head, it's it's good to have a round turn, and then the the back could be just like that. I think everything and this stroke is perfect. Yeah. yeah. Think about the the shoulder. So if the, uh, here is the the shoulder, you can just do you know the, the ring like that. And mm. just, you know, so, uh, just keep, when you do it, keep the shoulder the most solid. Other part is okay. not not important. Yeah, okay. to identify the shoulder part, the two um, shoulders. Yeah. So you won't not get lost. Yeah. The yeah, it could be very loose on the other. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's up up wing and the lower wing or left and the right wing. Yeah, that's the upper wing. And then the lower wing. Yeah. Yeah, that that would be Yeah. Just like that. Okay. Very sweeping. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. No room for the wings. Mm -mm. Yeah. There is a room I can see. Oh, okay, good. And you, you're just uh, uh, behind the the back. Yeah, you can you can make the shoulder. I mean the back lower if you want. This is water, so you still have room. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, just go outside of the picture okay. and then come in. Go all the way back, uh, outside of the frame on okay. top. Break that line and then come in from. Imagine the part outside the frame, then come back from the right. right. And you can exactly. That's it. Just do the other wing, the shoulder, under the neck. Get it tight first, then loose. Yes. Okay. Then add a few more. The brush hold in a slant position, so it give you more uh, width. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And then you can add uh, uh, one more stroke. Just up. yeah. That's it. And uh, let me. See.
You may add the tail with the same mm. brush, just okay. add a few sweep, extend the body a little bit longer. So you Don't press, yeah, so you will not, you will uh, try to avoid the, uh, li the big dot when you connect strokes. Yeah. Okay. Just, you know, be loose. I see. Just like, like that. Okay. okay. Use a stiff brush with a dark ink. You can do, do the beak and the eye. Keep it, uh, the beak not too long, just straight line. In front of the head. I usually do from outside in, but you can do that. Oh, okay. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. You do good. Very good. And then the long legs, very thin, uh, strong legs with a big joint. Outside the frame is fine if you don't have room. With one inside, maybe. Okay. I'm done. Okay, no room for the feet. Mm -mm. That's just it. Okay, now you can wash the. Uh, the wings with some uh, soft color. You just get some color left over here. Just the mo motion blur, kind of. Can I just do yeah. Do it in an abstract way, so uh, don't worry about the shape of the wing. Just yeah. Just straight lines up and down in the area where the wing would flap. And, uh, like that? Uh, yes. A little bit more here. And uh, do you have room for another one in front? Not behind? Or you can do another uh, shadow <laughs> in the front. Just the, just the for head. For fun, yeah, just the and head. With the wings, kind right, of, right. like those two. Yeah, not like a motion. Yeah, uh, like a long. Long, yeah, long neck. Okay, let's see. So we do. Um, let me see what color we have. Do oh, we're going to do this one a little lighter. Lighter, yes. Softer, lighter, maybe a little bit. Uh, more gray. More pink or. Purple. Okay. Extended the uh, neck in front. Yeah, just like the same bird would move next, extending the neck in forward. A little bit wave down. Yeah, that's good. Let's see. Okay, and uh, you can you can have some wings behind the bird, but avoid mm -hmm. touching the the beak if you could. Okay. And forward. Like here. Uh, actually, I'll say yeah. Something maybe the shoulder is above the. In that direction, okay. and bent down right away. Yeah, okay, that's the top. And just extend the lower part. Yeah, jump over to the bottom. Okay, okay. Here, and the, the front, yeah, just a suggestion. And this, I think, will go maybe just back. Top. Or like 
the, identify the shoulder first. Depends on the corner of the shoulder first. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm thinking here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever you think is appropriate. Oh, okay. yeah. Close to the body. Okay, done. Okay. Yeah. Just add a few uh, supporting strokes inside the shoulder, suggesting the feather of the flying wings. Yeah, don't depict anything. Be calligraphic. Okay. Okay. People will think yeah, their wings. Okay, not the details on the head. The beak could be inside the picture if you could. Yeah. Press down. Okay, that's good. So we did have a, a two fitting that <laughs> space. That's good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So write, write your last name Dancing with the Chinese, Chinese tongue, and then put your first name in a uh, seal under it. Okay. Yeah, the chip on the left side. Okay, great.